Well, I'll just start off by saying we have Catherine Pierce on the phone. Hello. Of the Pierces. Now I want to. I want to tell you about. Um, I want to tell you about the album you've made, or rather, you should tell me about the album you've made. No, I thought you tell me about it, and I love it. <laughs> now listen, you know what I like about this record? What? Every track sounds like a like like from a different album in a way. Yeah, we kind of made a mixtape of a record. And the song that first grabbed me and that I first started playing, was Boring. Mm-hmm. And I liked it because it had kind of a, a John Barry-ish feel to it. John Barry? Hmm. Well, he's the guy who's responsible for the music um, for the James Bond movies. Okay, yeah, we have. I did know that. Um, we, we've had a lot of people say that, yep. I like the video. Oh, thank which, you. Which, was, which is sort of this sultry... It's kind of, it's like film noir, I guess. Right, there you go. We were we were really just kind of joking around. Our friend uh, Steve Bern, Bernbaum directed it, and we did it for like 500 bucks. Um, and we just got our friends together, and basically the, the main expense was buying cheap champagne for everybody to drink while we were hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we just, we really had no plan. We just kind of, you know, fooled around and... And got what you what you what you have, but it was fun, and we liked the way it turned out. It's a little it's a little over the top and glamorous, and some people think don't get it. They think we're being serious, and that we're really like Paris Hilton y type girls. But right, right. For, for those who didn't get it, it's a joke. So w- when you set out to make this record, and this is your third album, what was your mindset? Like we're just going to go and make a you know kind of a crazy record that's all over the place. Well, we didn't even realize we were making an album. We um, we had just gotten out of our deal with a major label. Um, we didn't have a new deal, and we just met this wonderful, crazy man named Roger Greenwald who wanted to work with us, and he has a cool little studio in his uh, apartment. So we went there, and we just started experimenting with different sounds, and um, we kind of just wanted to make every song sound like a different little world. Um and then when we got to, like, 15 songs, we were like, hey, maybe we should do something with this. It's pretty cool. So we got a deal, and we um, narrowed it down to 13 songs, and um, and there you have it. Well, now, every time I've tried to look up information on you guys uh, online, I get I get nothing but what appears to be complete fiction. <laughs> so, Well, it would appear to be fiction, but there's a, <laughs> actually a lot of truth in it. Do you mean the bio? Yeah. Uh, you're from Alabama. Yes, we are from Alabama. Your first record, what what label was your first record on? Um, our first le- uh, record was on Epic. Right. Um, our second was on Universal. And neither one of them really turned out the way we wanted. We had too many opinions from too many different people, and we didn't really know what we wanted. And we, um, I guess we were kind of late bloomers when it came to being aggressive and knowing what we wanted musically. So... Um, the third record, we could, we joke and say third time's a charm because we just, it felt like it was our last chance and we just wanted to do something fun and special. And so we basically did whatever we wanted and, um, it turned out better that way. Well, yeah, it did. You can hear, I mean, I, I'm actually familiar with your previous records cause we've gotten them in here at the radio station. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I, I remember hearing this 13 tales of love and revenge. Oh yeah. That's a good idea. Ghosty, give out the title. Um, 13 Tales of Love and Revenge. And, Promote it. Yeah, and everybody was, you know, everybody here was like, this is the Pierces? Really? Yeah. It's it's very different from the other records, but we feel like this one shows our personalities more. And um, it's just, you know, it's we we were the only ones to, making the decisions, so um, I guess it's more true to who we are. And And you both enjoy whistling. Um, actually, I am the whistler. Allison is not. She's not whistling at all on this. She's not a good whistler. (laughs) (laughs) You've brought back the lost art. It's you. It's it's the lineage from Bing Crosby. It is. To you. You're bringing it back. I know. It's very thrilling. And what's amazing about this record, and it is an amazing record, and I recommend everybody get it, and you can go to uh, thepiercesmusic.com, your website. Mm-hmm. Which uh, is still under construction. I <laughs> it, it links yeah, to MySpace. Yeah, it's kind. Of, I feel like um, websites have kind of become irrelevant with MySpace and everything. Everybody's so 
into that because it's interactive and they can send you messages directly, blah, 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 leave comments. So we haven't really bothered with the website much. So go, go to the MySpace page. Okay. And you can you can also get it from there, too. There's a link to yes, the iTunes you can. over there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to ask you about um, when you're when you're coming up with these songs, mm-hmm. when you and Allison are writing these songs, a song like Boy in a Rock and Roll Band, mm-hmm. for example, sounded to me like something uh, Harry Nilsson could have written. Oh, thank you. And it, well, you're welcome. And I, I want to know um, what your influences were are. Um, well, we love Harry Nelson. Um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't think about that when I wrote it. But yeah, I guess it, it is kind of like that. But um, our main influence would probably be the Beatles. Our dad was a huge Beatles fan, and we grew up listening to to them, and um, also Joni Mitchell. Mm. Um, but I mean, people forget that like the Beatles are super eclectic. Like if you listen to their records, a lot of their records sound like they're from, you know, totally different styles. And, um, a lot of their their songs are pretty theatrical. So I think we, they were our biggest inspiration. I know that's not unique, but it's true. (laughs) No, that's all right. I mean, you know, you can't go wrong there. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I was so excited by this record. I've heard your previous records. Not that I didn't like them, but I did. Oh, it's okay. But I really <laughs> like this one. What's your favorite track off off the album? Um, I don't know. I, I like Turn On Billy a lot just because it's, um, I think it was the second one we recorded, and it was just, while we were recording it, I began to realize, like, wow, you really can have an idea for a song and it come to full fruition in real life because we hadn't had that with the last two records. Um, so I, I love that song. I, just, I love the way it turned out. I love the production, and I just think it's a cute, fun song, and it kind of represents us well. Good. Then I'll play it. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. Well, well thanks so much, Catherine. Thanks Thank for coming you. on.